Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Ultima 7 Part 2, The Serpent Isle. We are on the expansion, the uh, Silver Seed, and when we left off, we had made it through the fourth area, and we were about to open this door and talk to a gentleman living down in this dungeon. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Aha! Okay. I was going to be really... Really upset if we needed a key that I didn't know about. So we were down here in this dungeon, uh, and we saw this guy kind of walking around. It's time to talk to this dude and see what's going on. But let's look around his abode first, shall we? Is that a single gold coin? A single gold coin. A bunch of corpses. This is concerning. There's a well. We don't have any rope with us, and I haven't seen any rope. We've got... These bodies have a couple things on them, but nothing really useful. Nothing in there. Alchemist apparatus. Just alchemy stuff all over. All right, so nothing really going on in here. Nothing for us to grab or pick up. Let's talk to this guy. Hello! Oh, that guy's having a rough day. It's me, Mudahar. That's uh, who that looks like. All right, welcome, Simple Tim. Do not expect to stay long, for I am getting rather hungry, and it has been months since I have eaten the flesh of a human. Uh, what? What's your name? I am the manifestation of the horrific images of thine mind's darkest recess. Ha! I am chaos unrestrained. Those cowards in the keep call me the fiend. What do you mean unrestrained? Fool! Dost thou think those flimsy doors are my prison? That the meager traps and inconsequential guards hold me here? Nonsense! Why stay then? The ring! I am a prisoner of my former self, for without the ring I cannot right the world. What ring? Thou must know of the ring of Shal, even the king of fools knows of its power. Any idiot can see what importance it bears to my ambitions. Okay, what is the powers. Fool! Ignoramus! I shall slay you and add your bones to my collection. Thou knowest well the powers of the ring. If I had the reagents to spare, I would strike thee down with a spell most dire. If I had the ring. Reagents? Thou art not merely feigning stupidity, art thou? Within on my finger, I need never use reagents, for it simulates their magical properties. That is why I created the ring. That is why I pledged myself to chaos. Created. Yes, you fool. I was Shal, but Shal had not the knowledge to create his life's goal. So he called upon greater powers than he had, than he, to complete his work. The Chaos Serpent granted him that power, but there was a price. What was the price? He was shown the error of his ways. It was a gift. He was granted a year's time to complete his work, at which time he would be changed into me. Bless the Chaos Serpent for his wisdom. Time? The Chaos Serpent was far too generous in granting him a full year. Had it granted him but a month, I would already have saved the world. Generous. Shall had time to hide the ring from me. He did give the ring to an animated suit of armor, with the orders to hide and guard it, even from himself. I have not yet been able to recover it. Armor. The predecessors to automatons, they cannot speak and can barely follow orders. They make idiots like thyself seem intelligent. Orders. I would not be surprised if the suit of armor forgot entirely about it. Forgot. The accursed thing may have noticed it days later and thought it was a rock. It could be a pile of rubble. It might still have the ring in its hand. Curse this world. Um, recover. My only thought thus far has been to see thine bones scattered across my floor. But you might yet be of use to me. I shall let thee live if thou dost retrieve the ring and bring it to me. Dost thou agree? Uh, let's say yes. Ha, huh, excellent. Go then. Bring me the ring. Do not betray me, or I shall sate thyself by killing thee slowly. They will be thine last. I want to talk more to you. Hast thou brought the ring? No. Curse thee. I shall roast thine flesh. Oh. He 
He's just going at the Avatar. Avatar, get out of the way. Avatar. Get... Ah. Uh, Alright, well. Here we go. Let's load that up. <laughs> now that we know uh, that this guy is pretty dangerous in here, we'll talk to him a little bit. So somewhere there was a ring. I gotta try and go down the same... Let's ask about the orb. I do not possess this orb, moron, nor have I any desire that I do. However, I recall an entertaining diversion perhaps one year ago. A crazed soldier of chaos stole it and brought it into my domain. Soldier? I assume he had been discovered and rather than face the persuasive initiates of discipline, sought asylum in my domain. He fell victim to one of my more flamboyant traps. I'm sure he still has the orb on his charred corpse. Okay. And now... We can go down this list of things. Let's ask about the ring. Again, uh, ambitions. He's going to save the world. What powers. It's amazing. Um, it takes care of reagents. He created it. He's going to right the world. Or it's folly. The world has blinded itself to his truth, and I shall force them to see. Uh, price. Oh, that's right. He turned into that. His former self, Master of Reagents, Wizard Beyond Compare. Okay, greater powers? Yes, greater powers. He called to the service of order and chaos. He spoke with demons. Only the Chaos Serpent would hear him. Changed, my dear moron. Shao was shown the wisdom of chaos. All traces of order were removed from him. He became a paragon of chaos. Uh, time. Master, I do not expect thee to comprehend, Simpleton. The ring creator... The, the king, creator of the ring. Paragon, I, a paragon of chaos, me. There were some chaotics who said my words were those of a fanatic. I'm too extreme. Ha, they are all dead now. That skeleton in the corner was Celias. Near you, Alchithrothesis. They now face the chaos serpent's wrath for defying me. See. I shall bring death to the hero fans to bring chaos and freedom. No longer shall men weaken themselves with reason. I shall liberate the entire world. Generous... Recover. Uh, yes. Excellent. Go then and bring the ring. All right. So, somewhere in this place is this magic ring. So, it's not here at all. Maybe we have, we obviously probably have to go. I think I see what could be a body on the map. All right, so we're going to go back the way we came in, which was we kind of came through here. Of course, we disarmed these traps, which was awesome. Then we'll come down here. And then this loops back around. This is what I'm seeing in the map, right? I'm wondering if that's the, the charred corpse. As you see, the there's like fire and stuff. I wonder if that's our goal. That corpse right there. Now up here, there's this clay man. Don't go, don't be upsetting that stone harpy over there. There we go. We'll avoid the stone harpy. So that's just a dead end. So we'll run back up to here. I wonder if we'll set this trap off again. We did, but because we were running, we were okay. So back across here. Oh, uh, we're going to have to go across these again. Don't stop running. Or maybe I set it off like... Can I set it off and then get out of its way and then go? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're still alive. Slightly. You're in, you're in some bad shape. Let's uh, bandage folks. And then what we'll probably do is we'll probably have to have a rest. Somewhere. Okay. 
So there's a charred corpse somewhere that has the orb we need on it. It's the rotting arm over there. And there should be then this suit of armor that we have to find that should have the ring that we're looking for. So right now I'm just kind of looking around at the map. Okay, there's a whole section. There's a whole section in here that looks like it looks like there are important things over this way. So let's see. Stone harpies. We can avoid them so we don't activate them. Stone harpies. Is there anything up here? What is this? Yeah, statue that came to life. Not what we're looking for, though. I don't think there's anything over there. A couple statues here. Do I have to activate them to get them to be... a target? Shimino, come back. Okay, not these. Stone Harvey, that one's on a pedestal. This obviously comes out there. But how do you get there? Oh, wait a minute. I think... I think there's a secret passage that I'm not seeing. Ah. Okay, there is a whole big area that we can't see. Let's see here. I'm just taking a quick look. Um, let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. What are we doing? We're going down here. Uh... All right, it looks like I'm just taking a quick look at a map because this dead end is not where we need to go. We apparently have to go down, down south, the other place that we had seen. There's nothing underneath that, is there? Like, let's wake this harpy up. Hey. Hey, you. What just happened? He exploded! He exploded! I'm so confused! Shimino, I don't know where you're going, buddy. We are straight up not hitting this thing. Okay. So. Note to self. There's nothing over here we need. And we do need to rest. Like, let's get healed up. Before we go any farther. No, not your cape, Grug. Give me this. Let's do a rest. Let's get some healing on. Uh, let's do an eight-hour nap. Um, what I'm looking at is the fact that I think we need to go down here, fight whatever this is, go over these, and I think we have to go... Oh, wait, no. There's no way to act. How do you access this staircase? 
That's confusing. How do you access that staircase? What the heck? What the heck? Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm just taking a look at this now. I'm just looking at, um, let's see here. These instructions are, are bad. There's just bad instructions is what I'm seeing. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to run through the whole thing. I don't understand these instructions I'm seeing. Whatever. Whatever. We're going to go down. There's a whole second layer to this dungeon, which is not visible on this map, is the problem. Also, why are we not waking up from sleeping? Why am I hearing the ocean? What's going on here? Ultima? Ultima, wake up. Ultima? There we go. Apparently, we just really needed to heal. Okay. So... How do I get to there? I don't understand. Okay, there's where we came in. There's a chest over here. What do we have going on? A bunch of lockpicks. Okay. A golden chest. Never trust a golden chest. Are these all locked? Oh, that one's still there. Really? There's nothing in here. Okay. So those chests were all just lies that don't matter. Oh, this is before we slept. Why didn't I save? I'll tell you why. Because Grug's a dummy who's getting distracted by other things. Grug's got to do his taxes at some point today. Um. All right. So those chests were full of lies. Let's uh, let's save. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So down this way, those chests were full of lies. This is nothing. This is where we came in. That was the chest that had the lockpicks in it. Here we got some scorpions. Lockpicks just sitting out down here. Over there is the exploding chests. Let's just grab these lockpicks. Anything up this way? No, it's just a dead end. Okay. Like the stairs we need to get to, at least based on what I can see, are kind of like right there. That's where we need to get. But you can't get here from anywhere. Unless you got to go past that one stone harpy over there. Like, none of these is a... F ah, got it. A book. A book of Ophidian language. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I, that's a lot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
save. Let's uh, uh, translate somewhere in here. There it is. Okay. Diary of Diabolical Traps. I, Sally Ashar, am accompanying a score of soldiers and scholars ordered to retrieve the Golden Orb. I was chosen for my knowledge of traps, a, specific, a specialty particularly suited to our journey into unknown lands controlled by a mind such as the Fiends. First level. No, first trap. A soldier wandered into an alcove, found himself separated by his command by poison fields. I had the good fortune to be looking his way when he triggered the trap. It is obviously of magical nature. If this is all we will face, the ring will surely be ours. Second level. The fiend has raised the stakes. We discovered a large cavern in which numerous statues of harpies and decorative suits of armor. We had immediately deduced that these were traps and would smite us if we stepped too near. But the real trap was more cleverly hidden. Caltrops, painted to match the color of the floor, drew a great deal of blood from the soldiers as they gingerly avoided the obvious statue traps. Clever. Second level, we have discovered the next trap. A small number of chests clustered together, proved to be explosive and tampered with. Amateurish, I spotted amateurish. I spotted the trap before any of the foolish soldiers could tamper with it. Third level, three soldiers entered a completely barren cavern and triggered a truly fiendish trap. When they reached the center of the room, we heard the sounds of a bell. Nervous seconds passed. Just when we relaxed, a spell of terrifying destructive nature went off. The soldiers were consumed in flames, which appeared from empty air, disappeared and reappeared in another location. Had they fled from the room, they would have lived. There was a body in there, and my mind's eye can still see the light cast from the torches glinting off a golden object in his hands. If it was the orb, it is lost, for not one of our number dares to face the flames. I think it was not but a gold statue or some such. More accurately, I hope it was. Third level. We send another soldier to his death. He was sent into the narrow mouth of a cavern. I knew he would not return. When he entered the cavern, an energy field appeared in the narrow opening. Neither I or our wizard had dispel field in our spell book. He was left to die. He was one of the last soldiers alive. Our prospects for survival are grim. Do I have dispel field? Dispel illusion... Restoration, Poison Mist. I don't have a Dispel Field spell. Maybe we can just run through the field. Whatever it is. Here's hoping. We'll find out. Maybe, maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? There's that Harpy. All right, we got to go down these stairs, and this takes us to an area for which I do not have an active map. But let's see. Well, I have a different version of a map that I can look at that kind of shows me. Aha! Let's, uh, aha! There we go. Don't worry, folks. I think I have found the map for where we're going. I'm opening all the wrong windows. All the wrong windows. All right. There we go. There's a map for where we are. Get this pulled up here. Get this checked over. All right. Here we go. Wrong map. Wrong map. There we go. All right. So here's where we've walked in. We've got all kinds of shenanigans all over, it looks like. Um, let's go down this southern path first, and then we'll go around this path. Obviously, this goes to there, and then there's our goal. But we'll try this southern route first and see what we can find as we meander about down there. Uh, let's do a save in case things go bad. But let's check this southern pathway. So we got lots of rubble. I don't know if it's any of its destructible rubble. Ooh. That's just debris. Ooh. Broken dish. Just garbage. Ooh, that's a band-aid though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Grab that. 
People are hungry again. Ooh, another Band-Aid. Um. Garbage. Debris. Debris. And a glowing sphere. Again, I'm just looking. You never know what stuff's going to be tucked under one of these debris fields. No monsters really. What's that? A spindle of thread. All right, anything over here? Some wild men. Uh, what do we have here? Ooh, that's a gold nugget. I don't care about that. But I will take these serpent scales. Thank you. What do we have here? Garbage, debris, a fish, more debris. Again, just a piece of gold there. A skull. Let's head down over here and take a look. Deal with these wild men real quick. Hey, look, a loot. Body. That's a single gold coin. That's more dra that's more serpent scales. Thank you. That's some garlic. Take some garlic, some gloves. What's this? Just a piece of cloth. A broken dish. Loot. All right, so nothing big here. Stick to this, the, the right-hand side theory first. Hey, there's a lot of these dudes down here. Get them, team. Get them. The team stopped getting them, didn't they? They did. They have stopped getting them. As I've hit a button. There we go. Hopefully that's all of them. What do we have here? Can't get there. You mean I'm right here. What is this? I'm literally standing on it. Let me grab these lockpicks. There we go. That's a regular serpent sword. I have one of those. I don't think I need to carry two of it. What's this? An onk amulet? What's that doing down here? There's a body here. Some limbs, rotting legs and arms. Um, but let's not leave an Ankh amulet just out. Here, Dupre. Wear that with pride. Looks like there should be one more pile down here where these guys are coming from. None of those are dead. Two of those are still alive, but we'll ignore them. Uh, a small rock. Nothing here. Grug, kill this one that is right here. Like. Come on, team. Stop being silly. Cloth, green thread, a bu- Ooh, aha! What do we have here? Another fire wand for Grug to carry. Aha, those are what the caltrops look like. Okay, so they can be moved out of the way. Got it. 
So we start taking damage. We know kind of what the caltrops look like. Well, that was worth it. So let's head this way. We'll head back up. Nope, not there. That's not where I want to go. Ah, I want to go up here. And... Anything under here? Just some debris. That's fine. All right, we're going to be coming up on that big empty room. In this, oh, is that a pan flute? That is. It's a single lock pick. Thank you. A little bit of gold. Is that a cape? Ah, oh, who doesn't have a cape yet? Ah. Welcome to Cape Town. Okay. So this is the scary room full of fire. Where they sent their soldiers to die. And it happened when they got to the center of this room. So if we walk around... Oh no. This is not the room. This is just full of more wild men. I thought this was that, that room with the fire trap they talked about. But apparently not. Alright, over here. Let's save at getting rich. So there's a pile of gold coins. Let's follow this towards its obvious trap. Alright, there was the big death room. Here's the guy. Ooh. I wonder, actually. Can I get down to there? Just wipe these out real quick. I'm wondering if I can get down and and see the the corpse down there without setting off the whole trap. Like that's what I'm wondering. He had the magic orb. So we'll go here and we'll save at this fork. Oh, I did save. I called it getting rich and I just loaded the wrong save. That's fine. All right. So down here, we took a lot of damage. I wonder, can I cheat and do this? I can. Oh, I can cheat by looking up and down. Oh, Exalt, you're the best. What do we have here? We got a magic bow, we got a serpent sword, we got leather armor, we have got the golden orb. Let's go ahead and grab that if we can. Hello, golden orb. What we also have, is that another magical helm? That is. Who's wearing a non-magic helm still? Um, you're going to keep the viking helm, but we're going to take off this plumed helm. And you are going to have a magic helm. Because magic helms have very little weight. So. That was the guy that we needed to find. He, some magic arrows and a magic bow. We don't care about those. I don't care about those at all. Whoop. Let's re get the team repositioned. And we'll get on over here and we'll do another save. And... Let's see what we can see. Um, okay, got it. Uh, I have the wrong window selected. That doesn't help. All right, we'll save under test two here. You've got a bad feeling. Everyone's got a bad feeling. So what do we have over here? We got some stuff. We got a serpent sword. We got one of these. This brass shield. I don't know if these are better... Or worse than other type of shields. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to grab. They only weigh one pound. So I'm going to grab that. Uh-oh. Something is casting a spell that shoots blades that spin out. Well, that's probably not good. 
We'll call this save the not good save. Um, and keep going. So down here, what do we have? It looks like a little room. Now this looks like a dead end that doesn't go anywhere. So let's just check it real quick. Thought I saw something strange. Yeah, nothing here. But I do see a corpse and some other stuff on the ground in another section. So this little section over here, looking at the map. Oh, hey, there's just a bunch of, a bunch of headless ones and a gazer down in here. Can you focus on the gazer? Like it's the scary thing in the room? A bunch of headless ones are the are not particularly concerning. Some leather see another brass shield. Well, let's grab this too. Put it on his back. Okay. Well, that was good. Are we all here? Come on, YOLO. Come on, YOLO! Back up top, we have this place here. And I think I now know why that's casting like that. So, there's a secret wall here that we have to get through. How much damage can we avoid? Oh, well, it didn't go too bad. We didn't take too much. So, we'll go this way. Over here, we've got a... Debris field, debris field. Is this passable? Yes, it is. Okay. And over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Game. You know what? I approve. I approve, game. That was great. That was great. I deserved it. Um, note to self. Oh, ow. Don't go that way. It's a trap. Uh, we got some slimes over here. Uh-oh. Frozen. Randomly frozen. Uh, something, something went bad there. Let's try again. I don't know why the game suddenly... Yow! Yeah, something happened here. Let's try fighting in a different area. Or just ignoring them. Okay. Is there a gazer somewhere that would froze us? Is that what happened? Because I'm hearing... I think there might be a gazer somewhere that I'm not seeing. So let's do this. Number one, if Grug could not take an insane amount of damage... And then let's make a new save, because I'm getting tired of that. There's a gazer somewhere that must be, like, casting on us that I can't see. So, we're going to go... Yeah, there's a gazer somewhere. There's got to be something that I can't see that is casting at us.
Like, we're just suddenly frozen. Is there... I mean, I can open stuff. I can move this body. Why am I suddenly frozen? Somebody explain this to me. Uh... All right. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to try going another way. I'm just going to try going up here. There's got to be something that we're fight I'm not seeing that we're fighting. Come on team. Keep going. Okay, there's the stairs. We have all four orbs. Okay. Now, I think I know... I can see on our special map a place where there is a secret wall. So I'm guessing that's where we need to go. dead yet so back through here come on get it team <laughs> there we go all right so there is a secret wall over here and it's actually right here Here we have some rubble, and here, wait for it, wait for it. Do you see that? The Ring of Regents, the most important thing in the game, I'm going to say. So we put this on over here, there we go, now. Casting spells no longer takes regents. It probably takes mana, but now we don't have to worry about regents. We can now cast our make gold spell, our false coin spell, whenever we want, as often as we want. So we have now solved the problem of money. We can cast, cast a translate spell. We can transcribe stuff. You name it, we can do it now. So all we have to do now is get out of here. Uh, we're not going to take this back to the guy. Like, we don't need to. We don't need to worry about that dude. Um, the demon man in the other room. We're just going to ignore his existence. Because we have the orbs, which is what we came for, right? Oh. Ah! This is why you have saves. Try again. We are going to ignore the existence of the demon man because we don't have to fight him. We have the orbs. We have everything we need uh, to go back and save the world. Are we alive? Oh, come on. Stop dying, team. Stop dying. I just want you all to stop dying. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, those things spawn. They didn't spawn in the last four times we've done this. And of course, right now, they don't. Um, 
How many saves can we have? I don't know. But, gah, sounds good to me. If we could just get through here and not have anyone be dead. Or. Or. Did we just. Did we just solve the problem by dying? <gasps> we did! We did! Team! We made it back here! Oh, that's awesome! Well, that worked out. I didn't expect that to work for us. Uh, dying got us back here. So, we have the... We have the orbs. I guess we need to go talk to what's-his-face in charge of this. Oh my goodness. Well, folks, we're going to do that in the next episode. Hopefully, we'll be wrapping up uh, the Silver Seed. So until then, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope... To see you soon.